This is the Motorola Droid A855. And in this video, we're going to show you how to take it apart so you can make any necessary repairs. First, remove the battery, back cover, and memory card from the phone as being shown in the video. Using a plastic pry tool, remove the two plastic covers as being shown in the video. They are just held in place with a bit of adhesive. Still using the safe pry tool, remove the copper ribbon from the bottom of the phone. Using a T5 Torx screwdriver, available on the RepairsUniverse.com website, remove the screws as being pointed out here in the video. Once all the screws have been removed, use a safe pry tool and run it along the sides of the phone to release the back frame from the rest of the phone. There is one more clip in the middle of the phone that needs to be released. Once released, you can remove the back frame from the phone. Remove the free buttons as being shown here now in the video if they didn't already come out when you remove the back frame. If you haven't done so already, remove the speaker assembly. Using your fingers or a safe open pry tool, pop off the antennae cable. Using the T5 Torx screwdriver again, remove the two screws as being shown here now in the video. Using a safe pry tool, remove the pop connector clip as being shown here now in the video. Then remove the second one which is underneath. Using a safe pry tool, Release the plastic covering as being shown here now in the video. Underneath there will be a Torx 5 screw. Remove this screw. Once removed you can lift the motherboard and move it to the side. Be careful as it is still being held in place by another ribbon cable. Using a safe pry tool, release the pop ribbon cable as being shown here now. You can then release the motherboard from the rest of the phone. Release the small ribbon pop connector from the bottom left of the phone. Next, remove the sticker from the phone, allowing you to remove the back casing with ease.
Remove all small Phillips screws from the back metal plate. Next, slide it to the other side and then remove the remaining small Phillips screws. Once the screws are removed, gently lift up the metal at the top of the phone and release the jaw clip as being shown here in the video to release the digitizer ribbon cable. Next, do the same for the LCD ribbon cable. Release the LCD ribbon cable as being shown here in the video, but be careful as there is another ribbon cable still connected. Next, release the digitizer cable from the jaw connector. Once done, gently lift up the rest of the flex ribbon cable as being shown here now in the video. Using a safe pry tool, gently lift the LCD screen from the rest of the phone. To remove a broken digitizer touchscreen from the frame, use a safe pry tool starting at the sides and run it along to release the adhesive from the glass. Work your way around until you are able to remove the glass from the frame. Gently ease the ribbon cable from the small gap and then remove the digitizer from the frame. You are now ready to install the new digitizer.